Step 1. We're going to begin by opening the Philips SpeechMic control application and programming a couple of the buttons. Very easy to do. When you purchase a Philips SpeechMic, it comes with software. That software is called the SpeechMic control application. That's what's going to be used to program these buttons. Okay, when I installed it, I put a shortcut on my desktop, which is right here. Otherwise, go to Start, All Programs, Speech Mic Driver Utility, and Control Application. It'll open up the Speech Mic Control window. Okay. On the left hand side, we have button icons. These are all of the available buttons to program on Speech Mics, Philips Speech Mics. Okay. So I need to select the ones that I want to program. First one is going to be Record. I want to program the record button to turn on and off the microphone in Dragon Naturally Speaking. So when I double click on the button itself, the properties window opens up. Now I just need to go to keyboard input, which is where the cursor defaults to, and press control M. Okay, pressing control M is going to put a command up here. I know that I'm done. I click close. Okay, brings me back to the control application. Again, I'm going to program the fast forward button as well to jump to the next cursor fields within our template. Okay, so to program that, double click on the button icon. It defaults to keyboard input. Press F11. Okay, once it's there, click close. I've just programmed two of the speech mic buttons to do various tasks. Now, as we go through the steps in this video, why I picked Control M and why I picked F11 will make sense. For right now, let's just save this little scheme we got going on. Go to File, Save As, and give it a name, and save. It already exists. Do I want to replace it? Sure. Okay, I've just programmed the buttons. I've just saved the scheme. Now I'm just going to hit this Hide button. And that does it. Okay, for step two in our how-to video, we're going to open Dragon Naturally Speaking version 10 and reassign Scratch. Okay, for step two in our how-to video, we're going to open up Dragon Naturally Speaking and reassign the microphone on and off hotkey. Okay, so by default, when you install Dragon Naturally Speaking, it defaults to the plus key, the numeric plus key on your keyboard. Uh, if you're a laptop user, you probably don't have that key, or if you just want to program your Philips speech mic like we do, you want to change that. Okay, step two, we're going to open up Dragon Naturally Speaking, and we're going to reassign the hotkey to turn on and off the microphone. Okay, so by default, when you install Dragon Naturally Speaking, the hotkey is the numeric plus sign. In our case, we're going to change that to Control M. So we, of course, do that by opening up Dragon Naturally Speaking. Again, I have an icon on my desktop. Otherwise, go to Start, All Programs, Dragon V10, Dragon Naturally Speaking. Dragon's opening up on the top there, and it's loading my user files. Okay, so to program or to change the hotkey automatically in signed in Dragon, we simply go to Tools, Options. We get our Options menu. We're going to go to the Hotkeys tab. And here are all the available hotkeys that are defaulted when you install the program. We're just going to double click on this microphone on and off button and change it from the numeric key plus to control M. Press OK. Then apply.